Thank you very much. It's the real deal here today, and I got something that I think is at least a little bit prescient today, and it's going to be market reversals. Now, the thing about this, and I want to make this very, very clear when we talk about when we talk about market reversals. I'm not saying just every single time we change direction. Okay, like markets change direction, stocks change directions, they flip all the time, they're going all over the place. But a market reversal is something where you have an overwhelming move in one direction or the other, or a trend that's set up and been going all morning long or into the afternoon, and then you just turn on a dime and make a, it's called that big right hand turn. Uh, if you're at the highs, you make a right hand turn, you retrace all the way into the lows, and it's, it's something that happens quick, it's something that happens on volume. And you've got to be able to, as a day trader, trade both around them, take advantage of them, or not get taken advantage by them. So, you know, just want to get that out there first. I'm not talking about just, a, you know, we, we go up a little bit, you make a little bit of a turn, come down for 15 minutes, and then go up again. I'm not talking about that nuance. Uh, I'm, this is all about the bigger moves. So I'll give you an example from yesterday. Looking at a market reversal would be when everything was screaming higher, and NVIDIA did this, going from 720, screams through the opening range right up into 745 and then it makes this wick top turns on a dime like there's no pretense that we're going back to the upside here it immediately starts breaking down every previous uh previous level gets taken out and becomes resistance until you get a flush into fresh lows that's a market reversal up at the top today we had a cpi uh, number where the market was tanking at 830 and then at the open wipe out bottom that is a market reversal so now that we have laid the groundwork as to what what it is what are we looking to do off a of market reversal now keep in mind something when you have this happen it is a situation where there is a strong trend in the other direction in the case of NVIDIA, when it made that turn, it was one of the strongest stocks in a strong sector where the trend all morning long had been up. This morning after an economic number, the trend was clearly to the downside off of what ended up being a bit of a hot CPI print. So you have to factor in that anybody that is joining the trend on these moves has potentially gotten trapped. And that makes the reversal explosive. So, Anybody can sit there and say, hey, well, why don't you just go along the bottom short at the top? Yeah, good luck with that. Like, that's really easy. What can you actually do with something like this to try to participate in the move? I always say, look for higher lows, lower highs, if you're going the other direction. In this case, I'm going to talk about today, and then higher lows in a setup that can happen on a big time market reversal. So you observe. We're basing out at about 720 on NVIDIA at 830. That's a key level. We'll come back to that later. You then trend down and at the open. You get an exhaustion candle and a quick reversal. Great. If you were thinking going long 700 on NVIDIA, then I don't have to tell you anything. But if you're not looking for that because the trend is to the downside, what you can do is be patient about it, see the move up, and then wait for some confirmation. It's a bit choppy. Then you get this defined higher low at about 708. So you get a nice sideways channel. You've got probably some shorts trapped. Anybody shorting from the morning is asking, where am I taking profit? Well, there's a long consolidation. The second it makes that breakout, you're not the first person in when you're long up here when it got to 695 and you're getting long at like a 715. But what you do have is confirmation of buying higher, it's holding VWAP, higher lows have been put in multiple times, and you're getting a nice compression pattern uh, up through this breakout trade. You cannot be concerned in a situation where there's been a reversal of joining it too late. You're talking about an event which is going to shape a lot of traders' days, and you will have short bias traders looking at anchoring to here and still wanting to short there. That's the benefit of it. On top of that, you also get some natural outs on those higher lows. So the first thing I always, I always look for in a reversal is if you don't have a technical reason why you would be in at the top or the bottom, then don't worry about that and try to look for areas that you can get into. 
Now, the other thing that I know is going to come into play, and I know this was true for when I was trading, if you are biased one direction or the other, and it happens to be to the short side, I know I was looking for shorts. If you get a market reversal like we did, I'm going to pop up the cues here so that you can see, there's the market flushing at 830, the market reverses at the open and continues higher. So it holds higher lows and then breaks higher. If you are going to try to short something, then what you want to happen is look at something that did participate in the reversal, but didn't hold the trend back to the upside. So unlike NVIDIA, square like everything else, 830, flush into the downside, trending in, exhaustion candle, but what happens here is it does not break back out. It puts in lower highs, which means when it comes back into VWAP, as I've already shown, the Qs are making higher lows at that point. It gave something that you could go into the short with, again, playing the trend on the pops, because it was relatively weak. So look for relative strength and weakness. NVIDIA was clear relative strength. It was actually holding higher lows before the Qs were. So it was relatively strong. You're looking for the breakout. Square block was relatively weak, so you could still short it on pops, but even that, even that eventually goes, and then you stop fighting it. Once it starts putting in higher lows, higher highs, get out and stop messing with it. Would it work if you keep hanging on to it and keep going into the short? Well, that's how the market works. I mean, if, it's like roulette. You keep doubling down, eventually it's going to give you the win. Let's be real for a second. But I think you want to not go against the grain of higher highs and higher lows because reversals are violent by nature. When the market shocks you like that, you do, want to, you do want to make sure you're on the right side of it and shorting weak stocks and going long strong ones. And you can anticipate sometimes market reversals. And where you can do that, we already showed 8.30 in the morning. Uh, anytime in this recent market, do you have any Fed speakers talking? When we, go, when we went to the queues or went to, to NVIDIA or any of the names yesterday, and we talked about that trend to the upside that got a huge reversal, you had Fed speakers in the middle of the day, right? That's one thing to look for. It was a huge reversal. We had Neil Kashkari speaking and, and making regards on rate cuts. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's it, look, it could be that. It could be an Apple event, uh, 1, 1.30. It, it could be a bond auction at 1 o'clock. Those are the types of events that can precipitate a market reversal. So it's not to say that these are going to always catch you off guard. 8.30 on a CPI number, I feel like those big economic numbers are low-hanging fruit. I think we can all agree with that. Um, when the Fed chair is speaking, when we have an interest rate decision, those can signify market reversals as well. So, A, you don't want to get caught off guard in a situation where one could happen when there's especially a bond auction and we care a lot about rates right now. But there are things that you can do to make sure that you don't get rinsed on it. If a huge reversal happens and you can see it's starting to go, if you're going to go against the grain, short pops or go long dips, whatever it might be, find strong stocks to be long, weak stocks to be short, and do not be afraid to miss the initial move and then try and get that next consolidation because on big reversals, you sometimes go all the way and then some. That's why I showed you that in video. It was absolutely explosive, both to the downside, making fresh lows, and then today, once it broke the consolidation, went right through resistance and even higher. So when a reversal happens, make sure you're on the right side of it. Make sure you're not caught off guard because you know the types of events that can cause them. And then do not be afraid to join the party even if you're late. It's like I always say. I mean, you can be late to the party if you're well-dressed. And when trading, that means you don't have to have the top or the bottom unless you, as long as you can catch the trend. So look for ways to engage in that trend or continue with that trend if you can. Market reversals, it's not about predicting them. It's about participating in them where you can. That's the real deal. Participate. Don't anticipate.